welcome to my first ever clothing try on haul whatever you call it um so i guess it was like a few ways in how i could do this like haul try on video but i just don't really have a good place in my house where i can stand and have the item on and talk at the same time which i would prefer because then the information about the dress is fresh whereas now i have to think back to what it felt like and etc etc but until i like move house or go to a different place this is how we're going to be doing our hauls so don't come for me <laughs> um so yes also i know some of y'all are looking at the title like h n m h n m before your fingers start you know type warrior whatever you want to call yourself chill okay chill um, we will get to the reason as to why I have H&M in the title, <laughs> why I have H&M dresses. I definitely wanted to get this video in before the end of September because all the dresses I'm going to show you are in relation to my birthday. Even though my birthday was a couple weeks ago, you know, it's still September, so it's still my birthday month. Uh -huh. So I definitely wanted to fit this haul in around this time, you know, black birthday haul. <laughs> black sounds like me sounds about right so um let's go on to the dresses the first dress i'm going to start with is the primark dress i wore that one for my birthday on the day of my birthday so i definitely want to start with that piece so here it is black so comfortable guys so comfortable and it's like kind of like a skater dress at the bottom kind of thing going on great material um a really good work dress church dress like you just cannot go wrong i wouldn't wear it in the summer <laughs> or spring it's more of an autumn and winter type dress because it's very thick um it's very cottony it's like a huge jumper in the shape of a dress that's basically what it is um but i absolutely love it this is what i got instead of the blue outfit that i wanted to get for my birthday i didn't have a choice so if not blue then black like you can't go wrong with black. So yes, guys, I wore this for my birthday. Absolutely beautiful purchase. If I could get this in almost every colour, I probably would. Except like yellow and green and orange. I just don't really do bright colours that much. So I don't know. But yes, guys, so this is my first dress from Primark. I don't know how much it was. I don't think it was more than a tenner. I think it was about £8, if I'm going to be honest. So yes, guys, this is my first dress. I'm going to leave the H&M dresses till the end. <laughs> uh, the second dress I'm going to show you is a dress that I got for my birthday from one of my sisters. So here we have, this one's from New Look. So here we have like this halter neck um, type dress. Very flowy um, dress. Um, quite light. So this would be good for summer and spring to be fair. And then it's got like an undergarment um to kind of i meant i guess so it's not see-through <laughs> and to keep it that like a little bit warmer as well really lovely dress but as you can see in the video i had to wear uh, for i don't know why it's like it don't fit me properly it's like a uk 10 so i guess that would be a bit big for me um but it's like the top was so wide and so open so if i didn't wear something underneath it i'd be like you know showing off everything my whole entire chest and um it's just not going to work um so i needed to just put like obviously i wanted to show you how the dress fit in it um but i couldn't just have it on its own like that's too much skin <laughs> and i don't think it should be like that anyways i feel like it's too low and whatever and too spacey so i feel like i will need to have to go back to new look and buy like a smaller size kind of thing if i can um but i do love the dress it's, i love a halter neck like Anyone who knows me, I love a good halter neck. I was a bridesmaid for my sister's wedding and the first thing I thought was halter neck because she was like, you know, you can all try your different styles. You know, halter neck is just everything. Do you know what I mean? So I love, I love that about this dress a lot. And like I said, it's just really flowy, really nice. Good for a beautiful dinner or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like black dress, black heels kind of dress. You know, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. Now guys, we are going to move on to the last two dresses from H&M. Okay, let's just talk about the H&M scandal. I don't know how many scandals there is of H&M, like I just don't know. The first thing I heard about H&M when people were boycotting it 
I don't know if this was the first ever thing. I think it was, but I'm not sure. I was, you know, cheekiest monkey in town. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. To be, to be fair, I never shopped in H&M anyway. Like, it just wasn't a shop for me. I feel like H&M to me is like, I don't know, uh, Marks and Spencers. Like, you'll just never find me in there to do clothes shopping. It's just so random. If I ever used to go in there, it's because I'm so desperate. And I'm not saying that their stuff is ugly, but for whatever reason, nothing draws me to go to that shop. And so, yeah, you had this cheekiest monkey in town, went crazy. And then recently, literally just recently, oh my God. I don't know who to blame in this situation. Obviously, everyone's going to blame H&M. That's easy because of the cheekiest monkey in town gate. Um... It's this little girl that no one decided to touch her head. But at the same time, the reason why I don't know if it's H&M's fault, um, but then again, it is a big company. But okay, so basically, right, obviously I've kind of worked a little bit in the entertainment industry and had to go to makeup artists and hairstylists and everything. They come and say, just leave your hair open. We'll deal with it. They don't have any black person to actually deal with it. So then I end up doing my own hair. Do you know what I mean? Or I come with my hair already done because I know that they cannot handle my hair. They cannot do my hair. So it could have happened in this situation. H&M was like, yeah, just bring your daughter or whatnot. We'll sort her hair out. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Either that or the mother was just like, H&M will deal with it. Oh, this is fine. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what happened. I don't know how it happened. I don't know why they thought that was fine. Um, but yeah, yeah. I feel like the parents of the child you need to fix up. H and M, you need to get some black hairstylists um, up in your, you know. <laughs> the thing is, it's not like is it even H and M because you have H and M, but then H and M will hire, you know. Um, like a certain company to take their photos and make sure they have a makeup artist and a stylist and everything like that. I don't know how far it goes in, but obviously that's a recent like allegation I've seen due to H&M. Now the reason why I have two dresses from H&M is because for my birthday, I received a 20 pound H&M gift card. So what am I gonna do guys? I'm not gonna say, oh no, I don't want that. Like take it back, it's H&M. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Um, Cause gratitude is a must. So there's no way I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's H&M, so bun it. No, I'm gonna take it. 100% I am, you know, because I'm grateful. Um, and it was really hard for me to find these two dresses. Like it was so, so hard because like I said, nothing in H&M makes me feel like I want it. I just don't. So um, that's why it ended up being black because what else am I supposed to get? Like I had no idea. So for the first dress, it's kind of like vest top at the top, like kind of vest top arms, I guess. Um, and it's got a little bit of white in it, so it's not fully, fully black. Um, and then it's got like, this um, elasticated thing in the middle, so it kind of like comes in. And then at the bottom, it's kind of, it's like really flowy, so then it comes out. Like, again, it's so comfortable. And I actually love the dresses I got from H&M, I'm not gonna lie. Um, well, I picked them, so obviously. Um, but yes it's so so comfortable it is a bit thin so you know if you did want to wear it in like the autumn season fall season <laughs> yo i'm from the uk we say autumn over here um you'd wear it like with a blazer or a jacket or something because you'd be really cold especially here i don't know how autumn works in other places of the world but here autumn's quite cold um but yeah again you can wear it for more seasons um, and it was just nicely fit, do you know what I mean? It just felt nice, you know, again, church, work. Um, I'd say, I won't say like high-end restaurant, more like low-end restaurant, just because, well, I don't know, if you can work it, work it. I don't think I would be able to pull this off at a high-end restaurant. If you can do it, then can do it. But for me, this seems like more cash. Um, so yes, guys, um, this is the dress. So yeah, I got this in a UK small. So yeah, I didn't try any of them on. At the end of the day, they are quite um, elasticated, quite, you know, big. So it, it just wasn't going to be an issue. Sorry about this dress, guys. It's a bit scraggly because it's literally just come out of the wash. I wore it like a couple of days ago to a church thing. So it's a bit, you know, 
Mm, it's fresh though. <laughs> um, and so the last and final dress, the second H&M dress. Again, it's kind of it's black and white, um, but mainly black. And it is this t-shirt dress, bodycon kind of dress. Very cute, very comfortable, absolutely perfect very me like this is t-shirt dresses are me a hundred like a hundred percent t-shirt dresses are me so comfortable stretchy again i got this in a small and it's just yeah it's just perfect i love like t-shirt dresses or like jumper dresses like that is just so me in a nutshell and it's like you know you can wear it somewhere nice to church but you can also wear it to work but then you can also wear it on like a nice you know afternoon tea like it's just it's perfect for almost everything like i said i wouldn't wear it for like a high-end restaurant but more or less everything else it goes for um well obviously not gym <laughs> and stuff like that but you get what i mean like outings kind of stuff so yes guys this is the fourth and final dress absolutely love it out of all out of all of them i'm probably gonna wear this one the most i'm gonna be honest with you i probably am um because it's just it's just me and it's easy it's just an easy go to so yeah that's the final dress. Um, this one and the other dress, one cost me nine pound. No, yeah, one cost me eight pound and one cost me nine pound. So can't go wrong, really, can you? <laughs> so guys, we have come to the end of my um, first haul. You know, my black birthday haul. Um, I've really enjoyed it, a hundred percent. If you know any other scandals of H and M, let me know. Put it in the comments below. <laughs> I'm just interested in it like I just want to know um, but yeah if you give me your money I will happily go spend it in H&M for you like I'm not bothered do you know what I mean um, I'm not really gonna go in there myself just because I don't shop there anyways um, but yeah if you give me it why not you know what I mean I feel like you know subconsciously I boycott it but it's like I never dress I never went there anyways it's like new look well, it's not like New Look, because I always used to shop at New Look, but now I don't ever shop in New Look, like, ever. Not because there's anything wrong with it, but I just feel like there's nothing there for me anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm digressing, guys. Always digressing. <laughs> I've got issues. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video.